Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HP G60 laptop to factory settings for factory state running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best match should come back with Reset This PC right above System Settings. You want to just left click on that one time until this screen comes up. Now on the right side underneath Recovery, Reset This PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. That's if you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this Get Started button right here. So we're going to have two options here, either keep your files or remove everything. If you do still keep your files, it will remove apps and settings, but apparently it will keep some personal files. Now, I would still highly suggest you create a backup of any important files or documents to an external media source, like a USB flash drive, CD, DVD, or likewise. And the second option, remove everything, will literally remove everything and start back with a clean Windows 10 slate. Now, I would suggest that one if you want to do a complete factory reset, clean restore. And that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial today. So I'm going to select the second option. And we are going to have a couple prompts we are going to have to address before we can actually begin the process. So just hang tight. We're going to go through them in a couple moments once the screens load. It's going to prompt you if you want to clean the drives as well. If you want to donate or give your computer or device to somebody else, I'd recommend selecting your move files and clean the drive. If you're going to be holding on to your computer, I believe the first option, just to remove my files, would be applicable to most of you guys. So that's the one I'm going to select, first option, and it definitely will be a little bit faster. And we are going to have one final prompt here. It's going to say resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs, as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while, and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button to begin. This will take some time, so please be patient. Once some further narration is required, I will jump back in with the video, or I should say the audio recording.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our HP G60 laptop has been successfully restored to factory settings on our Windows 10 running computer. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.